This video explains how to use the Charting the Life Course Life Trajectory Worksheet. The Life Trajectory Worksheet facilitates an open conversation about what makes a good life for an individual with a disability. The Life Trajectory Worksheet helps create a picture and a long-term vision about how an individual can achieve her idea of a good life. The Life Trajectory Worksheet also provides an opportunity to discuss what the individual with a disability does not want in her life and what experiences have occurred that may negatively influence the trajectory to the good life. The first step to using the Life Trajectory Worksheet is to facilitate a conversation about what makes life good for the individual with a disability. For example, if the good life involves working, then different types of jobs the individual is interested in are identified. This worksheet is customizable so you can use it to discuss multiple or specific interests such as hobbies, friends, pets, housing, health issues, and so on. After the individual conversation, answers about what makes a good life should be documented in the top right-hand box labeled My Vision. Because there are many unique and individual interests that encompass a vision for a good life, you must be creative when discussing and capturing what a good life is and what it is not. It is important to make sure the individual with a disability understands options for a good life to the best of her capabilities. Therefore, you can draw or take pictures that represents different options such as employment or housing, or you and the individual can take a tour of different places. The next step is to discuss what the individual with a disability does not want in her life. For example, the individual may not want to live alone. Once the information about what the individual does not want is identified, the information is documented in the box in the bottom right-hand corner labeled, What I Don't Want. There are two arrows on the left-hand side of the worksheet, one pointing to my vision, the other pointing to what I don't want. You, the individual with a disability, and the person-centered planning team will use the tool to discuss and write down events that have occurred or specific goals that will lead the individual to her vision of a good life. You will also discuss the areas to avoid and what the individual does not want. There are life stage icons located at the top right-hand side of the worksheet. These life stages include prenatal and infancy, early childhood, school age, transition, adulthood, and aging. You can choose to use the life stages as a starting point for creating goals. For example, if you're working with an individual who is using this tool to map the steps to financial stability, you start at the life stage the individual is in. These life stages shift as a person ages. For example, a young adult may focus on earning, while an older adult may focus on retirement. Let's hear from a support coordinator on how she uses the Life Trajectory Worksheet. The next tool I want to talk about is the trajectory. We meet with somebody and we ask them, what is your good life? What is your vision? And we write that up in the top box. Again, we use a lot of questions. If you could live anywhere, where would you live? If you could do anything during the day, what would that look like? What do you want to do in the evenings? And you just ask a lot of questions to help them get to the good life. What does your good life look like? And each of us have a vision of what that is. Then on the bottom box, we also talk about what they don't want. Um, this can also be really easy and hard for them to fill out. <laughs> but the great part about the trajectory is that each decision and each thing that we make helps us either get towards what we want or what we don't want. And so it's very visual. It helps people with each decision every day. I was able to use this tool to help a family. So this can be used in many ways. I met with the individual and she was really angry with her family. She unfortunately couldn't live with them anymore because of circumstances within the family and we had moved her out. And she felt like her family didn't want her anymore and she was really upset. So I met with her parents first and I had them fill out the trajectory of what a good life would look like for her. And mom gave me words like independent, working, and living on her own. And so then I met with my individual and I asked her, what is the vision of your good life? When she was all done and we had completed it for her, I pulled out the one that her mom had filled out earlier. 
And she was shocked to see that her mom wanted the same things for her as she wanted. They were different words, but it was the same goal. And it helped her to realize that her family wasn't out to get her. The Life Trajectory Worksheet is a useful tool to map out meaningful goals and identify what steps need to be taken or have already been taken to support an individual's vision for a good life. You can use this worksheet as a pre-planning tool to have a better understanding about what services and supports could be discussed during the person-centered service planning meeting. Or you can use it at the person-centered meeting to discuss goals and services and supports. It is important to remember that this tool may not fit everyone's individual needs or plans. Therefore, use this tool only if you feel it's beneficial to the individual you're supporting. We encourage you to complete this tool on yourself. This exercise will provide insights about how the tool is used, insights about certain vulnerabilities to using the tool, and insights about additional questions you may want to ask an individual engaged in the person-centered planning process.